What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Car. Brody here, solo dolo, back at it again. Kelsey, also in Vegas. Silver Sage is currently working. And we finally got some Prism hangers in. Prism basketball hangers. I ordered these a while ago. They finally came in, so I'm excited to see that. And let's just look real quick. A little update back there. 12 to 14, for those that don't know, me and Kelsey currently are on a battle to 21 case hits. First one, or sorry, 25. First one of 25 case hits gets to pick a hobby box to rip on right here on the channel of their choosing. So it's a race to 25 and hopefully I can make it. Uh, but today we are ripping the 2023, 20, 2024 hanger boxes. We're gonna get 20 cards in a hanger. We're gonna be looking for those orange ice prisms which are going to be the same, I think, as the prisms that, uh, the same prism that you got out of those hobby blasters from football. Some other stuff that you can see on the back. Also, by the way, these didn't come with any uh, protective cellophane, which I thought was interesting. So this is just how it came. It doesn't look like it's been tampered. They do have like the, the plastic like stickies right here. And that's pretty much it. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. All right, what can we get out of here? Well, silver, green, orange ice. Orange ice is the new stuff. Glitter, obviously that is a huge card if we can pull glitter. And then the base prism white ice. Those look absolutely disgusting. That is going to be the exclusive for the hanger boxes. Those are gonna be numbered to 35. Rookie variations are out of here. You can get autographs as well. Um, and then normal, all the normal inserts here, nothing too crazy. So we're really looking for orange ice and we're looking for white ice. And with that being said, let's jump into it and see what we have. I have six of them here for you. Let me know what you guys have seen in your stores recently. Um, I'm striking out. I, I get it. There's not like a lot of new product coming out right now. But I saw some somewhere where people were saying that Walmart might have fired MJ Holdings from their like being their vendor. And I'm wondering if that's actually the case because I haven't seen any new product, any new boxes at my Walmart in like two months. So that's sorry, two weeks. So hopefully you guys uh have gotten a little bit luckier than I have. All right, we're gonna start off with a bunch of base cards here. Actually, not that many, surprisingly. Oh, it looks like they did the same thing as they did the value packs. So there's gonna be a bunch of base cards in the back. So these are all base. So like five, five in the, there was four in the front. Five in the back, looks like four in the front. So nine base cards, and then all of our cards that we actually want are going to be in the middle here. So Brandon Miller, solid start, not a prism or anything, but solid start there. We have Jaw on the Dominance, Anthony Black on the Emergent, and then these are gonna be our orange ice, I'm assuming. Jeez, they do look nice. All right, so Tracy McGrady, Harrison Barnes. I'm guessing our rookie is behind the green. Well, that's gonna be a silver. Okay, so two orange ice vets, a silver, a green, Raptors, all right, one rookie, and another rookie. Okay, so we had, first one we had five, ten. Okay, so half the cards are going to just be base vet, then we had two base rookies, then we had three of the orange ices. All those were vet. We had one green, one silver, and three inserts. So that looks like the format. We'll see if that stays consistent from each one. I didn't look up comps either of how much the white ice is going, but I can only imagine a wimpy white ice out of this is probably going absolutely berserk mode if you if you are able to uh, get one of those, but let's see. I probably don't know if I'll rip more of these. I do have more for breaks, so if you have been struggling to get some of these, definitely hop over into our whatnot breaks. 
We will have a, oh, we have a silver now in the front. Interesting. Okay, so it's not going to be a consistent thing. We had four cards in the front and a silver, where last time it was an insert. But yeah, hop over into our whatnot shows. We got a lot of cool products coming out this week. A couple shows, a couple basketball, a couple football breaks. Zion there. Green of Walker Kessler. Yao Ming is going to be on our orange ice here. Then we have a Jamal Murray on the green. RG Barrett. So still two hangers in. No, uh, no rookies on the orange ice. Two hangers in. We have six vets so far on the orange ice. Not really what you want to see out of this product. It would be nice if it was similar to the value or the was it the value packs or solo whatever they call them solo packs for football where you're guaranteed pretty much a red white and blue rookie i like that more i don't know if i'm a fan of i mean it, it's just gonna make the rookie orange ice more desirable right because the supply is gonna be so much harder uh so i guess there is that but it would be nice if you got a, a rookie in each one all right so this, yeah, these packs are just all, there is no format. They're just all over the place. Uh, that's a nice Thompson though. And there we go, it's base, no silver, but base Wimby, it's a couple bucks. Jordan Hawkins, DeRozan here. We got Kobe Brown. Okay, our first orange ice is gonna be Kobe Brown. We actually have this one of one, I just sent that in to PSA. What do you guys think I should have done? I saw some people kind of going back and forth, different ideas about one of ones. I saw some people saying, you send in a one of one um, to PSA, obviously to get graded. It's only gonna go down, like you only are risking going down in value, right? If it, if it gets a nine or an eight, it's the only card, you're only risking it. But for me, it's like, I also kind of want just to get it authenticated, get it slabbed up, protected, um, and whether it's a nine or an eight or whatever it is, it did look good. I mean, if it was, if it looked terrible, I probably wouldn't have sent it in, but it did look like it has a tense to Jim Mint. But, uh, well, what's your takes on one of ones? Do you think you should send them in? Do you think you should sell them raw? What, what is your go? Now, if it was a nasty, like if it was a player that I actually was somehow connected to, I probably would have kept it in the PC, but Kobe Brown, I've got no connections to that guy. So that is going to be up on our eBay. Speaking of which, we got a lot of new cards on our eBay. I just put another three or four today. Sage threw up about five or six. A lot of you guys have been asking for more e cards on our eBay. Yes, we did just sell like 500 cards on whatnot. And honestly, we call the show Steals and Deals over there for a reason. A lot of people got a lot of good deals on cards over there. But we're still going to be putting cards up on eBay. So we haven't forgot about people on eBay. Um, haven't forgot about you guys just trying to get around to inventory. Okay, that hanger was trash. Never mind. I take it back. That hanger was pretty good. That was, that was a good hanger. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how just one card, one card can literally change? I saw someone's video the other day where the first couple boxes they opened weren't very good. And they're like, this product sucks. And then um, they got like a nice Wimby or something. They're like, all right, this product's actually not that bad. Uh, you open this one? Yeah. All right, we're down to our last two. Haven't seen any glitter. Haven't seen any white ice. Haven't seen any uh, anything really big. Only, I think, one orange ice still out of uh, four boxes are rookies. So those rookies are going to be really desirable. Going to be very curious. Probably look up some comps after this to see what some of those orange ice are going for. Because if it's not if it's not a guaranteed rookie in each hanger pack, and these hanger packs are, you know, reselling at about 30 bucks, geez, it's going to be pricey, I'm sure. I thought that was another one I was about to say. Jeez. All right, two rookies off the top. Jordan Hawkins here. We got Bilal on in the instant impact. Benedict Mathburn. I'm just going to flip both of these. Oh, Jordan Hawkins. Okay, on the green. That's nice. Benedict Mathburn. Got a silver Trey Young on the dominance. 
Cameron Thomas on the orange. I mean, the orange ice is a really nice looking parallel. Two greens out of that one. Herbert Jones and one more rookie. All right. And we are down to the final pack, final hanger. What are your guys' thoughts on the hangers? If you've opened them before, are you a fan? You're trying to get more? Uh, have you opened them and not seen too much success and said, all right, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to be opening these anymore. If, if, if they come about and I see them in Walmart, I'll definitely pick them up. I just have never seen them out. I haven't seen anything out, really. It is a ghost town. A lot of sage, a lot of upper deck, decent amount of baseball, honestly. I just don't rip baseball. That's that's Sage's forte. Um, all right, last one. Here we go. If you guys have stuck around this long, thank you so much. We appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Check out our Instagram also if you haven't. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you like the video. And let's see if we can go out with one here. All right. <clears throat> we got a Giannis here. Okay. Three Wimbies. Not bad. Nothing crazy. No prisms or anything like that. But I will never be upset with uh, with pulling Wimby. With how he's been selling. And honestly, his cards probably will only kind of be going up. They, they've kind of taken a little bit of dip just because of supply. Um... But if he continues to kind of go on the trajectory that he is, they are going to only go up. Let's see if we can get a big rookie. That's not really a big rookie there on the orange ice. I think we might have struck out on all the orange ices here, unfortunately. I've never seen this card. Is that, is that the variation? Did we, did, did we just pull his variation? I've never seen this card. What? That card is sick. All right. I'll take it. I think this is, I think that's gotta be his variation. Why have I never seen that? Rookie variations. I guess that's his. And we got two orange cracked ice in that one. Neither player we really want there, but uh, all right. Wow, what a last, what a last um, box to go out on. That was. I'll throw a comp up to see what that is. I'm assuming that's probably more expensive than his normal one, right? Because that's a lot harder. I've never seen that card. I've never seen that card on eBay. I've never seen that card in anyone else's videos. My car, it's got me at a loss of words. I don't know what to say. That's why you rip sealed wax, right? You never know what you might pull out of these things. It might be absolute junk, and then you might pull out of a car that you've never seen, and it surprises you. That's fun. Love it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.